So we all know that Michael B. Jordan is trending because of an incident that happened at one of his movie premieres. And of course, on the red carpet, he met up with popular reporter L'Oreal. And of course, these two know each other from their high school days back in Newark, New Jersey. I want to go ahead and play that interaction and then we'll come back. And you know, we know each other. We go way back all the way to Chad Science in Newark, okay? What a corny kid, right? <laughs> no, I did not say that. Misquoted for sure. No, you did not hear me say I said we used to make fun of the name. But yeah, he is obviously killing things out here. So basically, here's what happened. Um, she never really said that Michael B. Jordan was necessarily corny, although that was she was a part of a podcast and somebody else said it and she kind of agreed with it. And that person was Dominique the Diva. All right. Now, Dominique the Diva, um, you know, she has a problem with Michael B. Jordan. and She's the only one that called him corny. So that's what he's referring to. He actually have the mixed up, but, you know, she says some disparaging things about him when he was in school, like she used to make fun of him. But Dominique the Diva just posted this not too long ago on her Instagram stories. Any black man that dates white women is corny to me. I guess that PR relationship with Lori helped y'all forget, but I didn't. And she also posted this. Anything I said once, I'll say it again. Nick Cannon is corny too. He got mad women, babies, and money. I thought we were all doing our Sierra prayer for a nice corny Russell Wilson to save us from these toxic jiggas. No, corny ain't bad. That's 70% of the jiggas in this industry. Let's see how y'all act when he brings his next white girlfriend with him on the red carpet. Toodles. That's interesting. Um, Now, let me just say this. I'm definitely um, a pro-black And of course, I'm not the person to be telling anybody what they should be doing or dating. I have my own strong beliefs, but I will call out hypocrisy right now. I want to play this particular clip from this lady by the name of Amber Wave three talking about how white women, how white men love her and her natural hair. Someone said, why is it that when black women get with white men, they wear their natural? Because white men love black women for them. I've noticed that when my hair is in its natural state, and I've been natural for a long time, I'm always getting compliments from non-black men. And I've also noticed that when black women go natural, they tend to attract the most high quality value man. And guess what? They're usually non-black men. They're not black. Black women like when Serena Williams is dating Alexis O'Hanian are marrying him, Lonnie Love, and whoever she's dating. I already forgot the guy's name because he's so unimportant right now, right? That guy's a bum. But it's a problem with these black men who you, you ladies call are corny for dating white women. Now, I just want to prove something because Michael B. Jordan wanted to date black women. He tried to date black women. He dated Lori Harvey. And then you want to know what the thanks he got from dating Lori Harvey? This is the video that I want to play of how black women need to channel their inner Lori Harvey. Let's play that clip. I think every woman can agree. When it comes to Lori Harvey, she knows how to play the game extremely well. In this juicy girl talk video, I'm going to be telling you ladies three characteristics to have in order to tap into your Lori Harvey. Pretty much what I mean by that is how to have your way with these dudes, how to get respected and play the game just as well. Okay. I promise you ladies, if you follow these three tips, your dating life is drastically, drastically, I can't even talk because I'm so passionate about this topic. If you follow these tips in this video, I promise you your dating life, your relationship is drastically going to change. These dudes are not going to play with you. You're going to get top tier treatment all the time, princess treatment. So say goodbye to all your toxic situations. You see, I can't even talk. Let's just jump into this video. So see, the thing is, when Michael G. B. Jordan was dating a black woman and he got dumped, 
which is what he did. He got dumped tremendously in, in a pretty embarrassing way. Oh, it was all go, Lori. Go do this. Yeah, get rid of Mike. Channel in your inner Lori Harvey. Dump these dudes. These dudes ain't about nothing. But, oh, wait a minute. You wanted a corny dude to save you from these toxic jiggas, right? You praying the Sierra prayer. It'd be weird with you, Dominique Diva. Let me go on record to say this. Uh, somebody with an attitude like you, nobody cares what you think. First and foremost, any woman who is disrespectful, runs her mouth like that, is a complete turnoff to any black man that's doing something in his life. Period. Brothers is never going for nothing but like you. Never in a million years. A brother will date another woman from the community or somebody from Africa or the Caribbean. And God forbid, like some of y'all say, or I won't say God forbid, because, you know, that's how y'all feel. But brothers will go and date somebody of another community before they put up with somebody with your attitude. How dare you even talk like that? Because you say when black men date black women or date white women, they're corny. But you're not addressing why brothers like Michael B. Jordan our brothers are having problems dating black women in the first place as if that problem don't exist. You see, we have to be able to offer each other something as a community. You see, I see a lot of black women wanting black men to offer you something because you want a Russell Wilson to come save you from your toxic jiggers or should we say your toxic choices in men. Ooh, see, that's what, see, y'all want to be able to do whatever the hell you want to do in the prime of your life and choose these guys and then come over there with all your baggage and your attitude problems and you expect that some man is going to be putting up with you in that mouth and, you know, going to be you know spending his money and resources dealing with you. You got another MNF and thing coming, all right? I wish I could curse because my mama watching my videos, but you got another goddamn thing coming. If you're not going to be competitive, stop asking these black men to come and date you and the ones that got money, they're corning everything else when you don't want to offer them nothing to be with you. That's the situation. So now they're corny. But how competitive are you as a woman? Because, see, they got to be competitive as a man, right? It took Michael B. Jordan years to become who he is. He had to work because when he was young, y'all wasn't tracking for him. You didn't want him. You wasn't looking for him. You wasn't looking after him. None of that. You wasn't even worried about that. But now because he is who he is, now he's corny because he's checking for the white woman. But the same lady, L'Oreal, even admitted when he was young, we was making fun of dude. Look at him now. So you're supposed to be able to make fun of that brother. And he's supposed to come back and want to deal with you. Now, black men remember that stuff. They remember, okay, yeah, when I was, you know, didn't have nothing. All right, we're going to see. Then we move up and all that. And then now they're not in the same situation that they used to be in. A lot of brothers, like I said, the, the higher you get in corporate America and, and the entertainment world, your world becomes less and less black. So when you start dealing with women who get, you, give you some positive attention, a lot of brothers is going to go to that. And instead of you trying to figure out why that is, here you come with the shaming tactics and it's corny that a lot of sisters pass up on good brothers and deal with toxic dudes and then expect the black man going to come and save you from your bad decisions. That's really what's corny. But y'all don't want to deal with that. But I am here every day to hold this mirror to the face of black America and the hypocrisy that we go through because you expect something that you are not willing to give. Okay, and this is not to the sisters out there that's out there, you know, dealing with the good brothers. And I appreciate that. But how dare you sit there and expect that brothers is going to come and just check for y'all when you're not trying to be competitive in certain aspects because you were dealing with these toxic dudes and you dealt with them because you want to. But now you want to have a see or a prayer. How about instead of doing a see or a prayer, how about you actually do what you're supposed to do? So when the black man come through, you know how to treat the brother. You know how to actually be a wife, to be a good catch, to recognize a brother that's doing something. That way you ain't got to do no Sierra prayer because you actually know what the hell you doing. But that would be too much, wouldn't it? But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do.
subscribe at the bell. We're out.